more Manchester United training pictures have dropped, and Eric Ten Hag was snapped giving advice to Jadon Sancho at the club's Carrington training complex during Thursday's session. The England international had a quiet first season at Old Trafford, struggling for consistency under both Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. Manchester United signed Sancho a year ago, paying a huge £73 million in order to land the England international from Borussia Dortmund. But he failed to live up to the hype during his maiden season at Old Trafford, scoring just three Premier League goals. Within United, there are hopes the former Manchester City Academy graduate can kick on. On his day, he remains one of the best forwards in the whole of world football. And images from Getty show Ten Hag giving advice to the 22-year-old at Carrington as the Dutchman looks to get the forward flying again. Other images released show Donny van der Beek working hard alongside Charlie Savage, son of BT Sport pundit Robbie Savage. Axel Tunzebe featured in the session, with the centre-back's future currently up in the air after disastrous loan spells at Napoli and Aston Villa last term. United youngsters such as Charlie Wellens, Zidane Iqbal and Ethan Laird were also involved. And Ten Hag's assistant, Steve McLaren, was seen giving some advice to Tahith Chong amid speculation the winger could rejoin Feyenoord. The new United boss has already made a big impression at Carrington, despite only taking his first session earlier in the week. Sessions have been described as intense with the 52-year-old looking to train players' minds as well as their bodies. There has been an emphasis on what to do with the ball, amid Ten Hag's desire to use a possession-based style of play at Old Trafford. And David De Gea has already spoken out about the 52-year-old insisting fans will love the attacking philosophy he's trying to implement. De Gea told club media, we are all very excited for the new season. The new manager, he plays very good football, so for sure, the fans will love it. United are due to fly out for their pre-season tour of Australia and Thailand on Friday. They face Liverpool in Bangkok on July 12th in a match that could provide an insight into what fans can expect from Ten Hag. And De Gea said, I think it is great to be able to travel and to be able to play in front of our fans, especially away from England, around the world. It is always great to be with your fans and hopefully we can make them enjoy it. Regarding Sancho, Noel Whelan recently insisted the England international must regain his best form fast in order to make the three Lions squad for the World Cup in Qatar later in the year. Reflecting on this season, it's not been great for Sancho or Man United, he told Football Insider. That's the reason why he's not in the England setup. People have been playing more regularly and putting in better performances. It took him a long time to finally move to Man United but it's not been the easiest of transitions. Hopefully under Ten Hag he can get more minutes and play in a system that suits him better. We hardly saw anything in the way of consistency last season. It's looking like a strange move at this point. It's an area where England are saturated with talent. He's going to have to hit the ground running at the start of next season. Otherwise, he's in danger of missing out on the World Cup.